Hello students, Ms. Kellogg here with your Unit 7 semester video review. Um, I'm going to go through all of the possible questions that could be on the review and the exam. When I'm going through them, I just want you to remember that the answer choices aren't going to be exact as they are on the test. They will be different ordered, maybe some different wording, but um, this should be a huge help for you guys taking it. All right, which complementary colors did Henry Matisse use in the red room? The answer is red and green. Those are our complementary colors. How did Peter Bruegel, the elder, use the principles of design in Return of the Hunters? He created unit by using similar colors throughout the entire composition. He created unity by using similar colors throughout the entire composition. What is aesthetics? Aesthetics is exploring fundamental questions such as what is art and what is beauty? In which step of the critical analysis process would you discuss what you think Velasquez intended to convey in Las Minas? The correct answer is interpretation. Which statement best describes how Egyptian art and architecture reflects belief of the time? Which statement best describes how Egyptian art and architecture reflects beliefs of the time? The correct answer is art and architecture glorified Egyptian royalty and gods to reflect their importance in society. Which of the following conventions did Egyptian artists use in tomb sculptures? Forms with no projecting parts that could break. What types of relief sculpture did Mesopotamian artists create? The correct answer is low relief. What is it? What is a characteristic of Mesopotamian architecture? Surfacing important Where is my mouse? Surfacing important buildings with glazed and baked mud bricks is the correct answer. Which statement is true about Egyptian Book of the Dead? It depicted figures with body parts in their most recognizable position. Which statement correctly describes the Parthenon in Greece? Its architectural plan consists of mathematical ratios, symmetry, and proportion. Which sentence describes a convention of classical Greek sculpture? Figures are depicted with idealized beauty and perfect proportions. Which statement describes a characteristic of classical Greek, Greek relief sculpture from a Parthenon frieze? Figures reflect a combination of naturalistic detail and ideal beauty. Which is a characteristic of the Roman pantheon? Its exterior design incorporates features of Greek architecture. Which of the following describes how ancient Roman triumphal arches reflect beliefs of the times? They commemorate and glorify Roman emperors and war victories. What is the distinguishing characteristic of Roman figurative sculpture as seen in Augustus of Primaporta? It is idealized features that glorify the youth and authority of the emperor. 
So it has idealized features that glorify the youth and authority of the emperor. Which characteristic best describes Chinese brush painting? They depict humans as being small alongside towering trees and mountains. How do Japanese artists create woodblock prints such as the drum bridge at the Kamido Tenjin Shrine? They brush ink on hand-carved wooden blocks and then transfer the image over to washi paper. Which of the following is the convention of Hindu artists used to depict the human figure? Sculptors create created idealized representations of the human form. Which of the following is a convention used by Inca women to create woven textiles? They used colors and patterns to convey the original identity of the wearer. Which statement best describes the purpose of North American lignit totem poles? They contain symbolic imagery that tells the story of Tingling Clan's family history. Which of the following are common design elements found in Persian carpets? Floral patterns and geometric designs. Which of the following is a convention used by Yorba artists in West Africa to create portrait sculpture? They idealize facial features to create their vision of perfect beauty. Which statement best describes Byzantine icon paintings? They stress Christian symbolism over realistic portrait. Realistic portrayal, excuse me. They stress Christian symbolism over realistic portrayal. Which of the following element, elements are common to Gothic cathedrals? Sculpted portals and stained glass windows. What is the distinguishing characteristic of early Renaissance art? Artists depicted the beauty of the human form and the nuisances of human expression. How does Italian High Renaissance artwork reflect humanistic thought? The artwork depicts religious figures in earthly settings. How did Mannerist paintings depart from High Renaissance painting conventions? Artists placed exaggerated figures in ambiguous spaces. What classical convention is reflected in Michelangelo's David? The statue employs the nude figure as its subject and depicts its beauty and strength. How did Italian Renaissance architects depart from Gothic architectural designs? They incorporated features from classical Greek and Roman construction into their designs. Which statement describes the engraving technique used by German Renaissance artist Albert, Albrecht Dürer? He scratched fine lines into a copper sheet. Okay, you're going to have two short answers on this. The first one is write a short paragraph that describes how either Assyrian relief sculpture from Mesopotamian or Egyptian tomb sculptures reflect the beliefs of those cultures. In your description, include details of artistic conventions, including how artists include details such as the function of purpose of the artwork, size and scale of the artwork, body proportions, body pose or placement within a scene. I'm not going to read these for you, but the answer key gives two um, different explanations of what it could be or of acceptable answers. Your second question is write a short paragraph describing how high Renaissance artists were influenced by artists from other cultures and time periods. In your answer, 
include the specific culture or period that influenced high Renaissance art and also the artistic conventions that reflect and influence, such as the philosophy or thought behind the artworks, body proportions and poses, detail of figures, setting or background. Those are going to be, and then below here is your answer key on an acceptable answer. Those are going to be your questions, possible questions to be asked. And I hope you guys are ready and excited to take your Unit 7. <laughs>